In this video, we'll do a couple examples of finding the area underneath the curve with respect to the y-axis, and also one example will be involving the area between two curves um, with respect to the y-axis. Now for this first example, let's let r be the region between the y-axis and the graph of the equation x equals to y plus sine of y on the interval from 0 to pi over 2, and we're defining the area a of that region R. So for this case, um, one thing to note is that that y plus sine of y is greater than or equal to zero for values of y between that zero and pi over two. So it'd be similar to when we we're finding the area underneath um, a curve and, and between the x-axis that we would want to know, okay, is it above or below the um, x-axis? And in this case, we're trying to know if it's to the right or to the left of the y-axis. So since it is to the right of the y-axis, the area um, between that y-axis and the equation is just the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of y plus sine of y dy. So remember, we're taking the integral with respect to y. So doing that, let's see, the antiderivative of the y plus sine of y, that will just be 1 half y squared minus cosine of y. And we're integrating that from 0 to pi over 2. Plugging in our upper limit, that would give us 1 half uh, pi over 2, that quantity squared, minus cosine of pi over 2, minus plugging in our lower limit, so that'd be 1 half times 0 squared minus cosine of 0. So the 1 half times pi over 2 squared, that'll be pi squared over 8. Uh, cosine of pi over 2, that would be, so minus 0. And then minus, well, 1 half times 0 squared, that's 0. Cosine of 0 would be 1, so that would be minus 1. So simplifying that, that would be pi squared, oops, over 8, plus 1. So that's the area of this region in yellow uh, between the graph of the x equals to y plus sine of y and the y-axis. So thinking about it uh, the way we did before when we were finding the area, that we could approximate this area using, in this case, horizontal rectangles. And then we'd add up the area of all those rectangles and take the limit as the width of those rectangles goes to zero. And what we'd end up with is that integral that we just evaluated. So looking at the next example, let's say if we're to find the area uh, between, uh, let's see, find the area A of the region R between the parabola x equals to 1 half y squared and the line y equals to uh, 2x minus 2. So the first thing we would want to do is to well, first thing before we even do that, um, you could do this two ways. One is doing it, as we were just saying, uh, horizontally, which would be finding, like, thing in terms of the rectangles, like the area of the rectangles between these two graphs and adding those up. You could also do this vertically, except you'd have to break it into two pieces, where one piece will be the graph between this almost like, looks like almost like a half circle from zero to this value here, um, or this dashed line. And, it, but the top graph would be the, this part of the parabola, the b bottom part would be this part of the parabola. So you'd have to find the area of that region, and then you'd find the area between the parabola and that line. So you would have to break it in, into two pieces. Well, it might just be easier to do this horizontally. So the first thing you would do, um, if you notice, this line is written in the form y equals to 2x minus 2, so it's solved for y. So what you might want to do is to solve it for x. 
So that means like add two to both sides, divide both sides by two, so you get x equals to one half times y plus two. And what we'd want to do is to find, okay, what are these points of intersection? Although it looks like it's negative one and two, but let's verify that. So by setting those two equal to each other, we get one half times y plus two equals to one half y squared. Let's see, multiply both sides by two, we get y plus two equals to y squared. Subtract y from both sides and subtract two from both sides, you get y squared minus y minus two equals to uh, zero. Factor that, that'd be zero equals to y minus two times y plus one. So our points of intersection would be at y equal to two and y equal to negative one, which is what it looks like from the graph, but more well, let's pretend what if we didn't know that graph. Okay, then what we would need to know next is, okay, which one's above the other um, and which one's below the other, or which one's on, and then what we mean by above, it means which one's to the right and which one's to the left. Well, again, it looks like from the graph that the graph of the um, line is to the right of the graph of the parabola, which opens to the right. Um, what you could also do is you could plug in a value between that negative one and two and just see which one gives you the larger value. And like if you just plug in zero, you would get one out of the line and zero out of the parabola. So that tells us again that the line is to the right. So when we're finding the area, we're taking the integral from negative one to two, and we plug in the first the function to the right. So that would be the one half times y plus two minus uh, the, the function to the left, so that'd be the one half y squared. Integrating that with respect to y, so we'd have the dy. So that'd be the integral from negative one to two. I could pull out that one half. And what we'd have left inside the integral would be y plus two minus y squared dy. So that equal to one half times, uh, finding the antiderivative of that, we'd have one half y squared plus two y minus one third y cubed, evaluating that from negative one to two. Plugging in our upper limit. Let's see, so we'd have the one half times, let's see, plugging in two, so that'll be what, one half times two squared, so that'll be uh, two plus four minus eight thirds, and then minus plugging in our lo lower limit. So we'd have one half minus two plus one third. So simplifying what's inside the brackets, we'd have, um, well, we'd have the one half outside, and then we'd have the one half times the nine halves. So that would equal to nine fourths.